What up everyone, your boy Satemangala here coming from CrossFit Ethos here in somewhere in California. Look, I want to leave a message. This, this message is really specifically for my people that I had a training with on Saturday. I was privileged and honored to train what was supposed to be three hours turned into five and we could have went all day and we could have went a second day and we could have went a third day. Like the fire was real, it was flowing. And for those of you who attended, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I am talking about. Now here's my message. It's been Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it's been three days since the event. It's basically like four days. And what happens is you go to a training event and you're like, who is this clown who's up there preaching and telling stories and making me cry and making me feel angry and touching my heart with the, what he's saying? It wasn't me, it was what was coming through me. Some people call it the spirit, some people call it power, some people call it truth. But this is my message for you brothers and sisters. There's a scripture that when I grew up, I was reading this book of scripture, it changed my life. And it's about a king and his people who were in bondage. Not because of them, but because of this king's father who had neglected his duties as a steward over his people. And so his son now, who was the king, and his people are in bondage. And they try to escape and they try to get out like you in your life, you're trying to escape from bondage. You're trying to break your habits. You want to expand your capacity. You want to make more money. You want to be a more loving, kind, open, honest, parent, spouse, business owner. And like these people, what happens is they try all these things and one of the leaders says, hey, I have an idea. There's guards on the back wall and if we can give them wine and make them drunk, we can escape. And the king trusts this man. So they give the guards the wine and the guards get drunk and they pack up and they foof, skadoosh, they take off. And they travel and then they find freedom. Now I want you to consider this. How does this relate? Because obviously scriptures don't mean anything unless we tie it to today. If we don't tie it to, the, to today and make it relevant to the here and now, that's just then and there, that's just a bunch of dead guys writing crazy funky words that beginneth and eth and behooveth and less and saith and layeth the smacketh downeth. So, what does that mean to you? Well, my brothers and sisters, you came to the training and you felt something and I know you did because I felt it. And I've had an outpouring of messages of people saying, Satema, holy smokes. Satema, oh my goodness. Satema, I'm committed. I'm scared. I am scared. But I'm in. And I asked for a group of people. I said, hey, if you'd like continued support, stand up. And a lot of people stood up. That meant like, hey, I'm ready to go to the next level. Satema, I'm scared. I'm a procrastinator. I'm weak, but can you help me? It's like the guards are drunk now in your life. And when the guards get drunk, like when you all of a sudden have the opening because you had a distinction, because as Jesus said, you can now see, he that have eyes to see, the perspective has been changed. You can do one of two things. Number one, you can sit where you're at and let those feelings fade away and go back to being in bondage to where you are. Bondage not really a bad thing for most people they live in bondage in their whole lives slaves to appetite slaves to addiction slaves to mediocrity slaves to poverty slaves to stories or you can get up and move you can get up and move now my message is for these typically my group that we trained on Saturday You don't have to join my coaching program. I'm not here to sell you my coaching because fr quite frankly, my, my life is going awesome. There are people who are coming to my life that I'm called to serve and I'm going to serve. But if you're the person who felt something, who stood up in the room, who said, 
I'm interested. My call is to you today. And for those of you who just aren't ready to take that leap, well, guess what, my brothers? Guess what? It's okay. Start and do something. Start and do something. The guards are drunk. The guards are drunk. Move. Because if you don't take action, and you don't do the core four, and you don't make those clear distinctions, you don't clear the crap out of your life, you'll stay where you're at. And in six months, what's it gonna cost you? In six months, you're gonna come to another training. You're gonna be like, man, I felt this before. Why didn't I do anything? Why didn't I do anything? What is it costing you to stay where you're at? What is it costing your marriage to be half-hearted in your marriage? What's it costing your body to hold on to stories? My brothers and sisters, my invitation to you is this. If you're the person who stood up, do what you said you were gonna do, handle your tuition, and let's get moving. I love you, I'm out.